So I have uh, several of these four pin CFL fixtures in our kitchen and uh, I'm going to show you how to replace it with one of those LED retrofit kits. So here's the recessed can that I'm going to take out. Um, lots of texture on it. There are three of these. So what I'm going to do is just unscrew it with a Phillips screwdriver. I have a, cord, uh, have a cordless uh, thing which really helps. And it just makes it easy. And then you pull the can out. So here's our can out of the ceiling. And here's the offending uh, um, fluorescent CFL 4-pin fluorescent CFL socket. It shows substantial blackening. Uh, I guess it has seen better days. At any rate, this was always giving us trouble. So now we're going to replace it with LEDs and life will be good and green. Um, so the thing to remember is we're going to perform surgery and take that socket out, much as uh, described elsewhere in other in another video on, on YouTube, which I'll put a link to. Um, and uh, if you look in here, there's a little panel box here. I've turned off the uh, switch, by the way, so just in case you're wondering. No electrocution hazard here. And you can push on this, and this thing will come out. So, exposing the seamy underbelly of the beast. And what we have to do is use the existing wiring, uh, cut some wires, basically. Uh, we've got power coming in uh, through that uh, white, uh, what do they call it, whatever they call it. This, the, the, the normal cabling that we have in, 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 in houses. And that's the main power and it goes into a ballast and then gets routed to the fluorescent uh, bulb socket. Instead we're going to route the power directly to the, um, to the fixture, um, which is all the DLED the fixture needs. So for starters we take those two screws out which mount the socket um, to the can, so that's easy enough. So I've removed the socket, uh, unscrewed the two screws. Also, I have uh, just snipped the wires at the socket. So we have uh, two red wires and two blue wires. And I'm going to strip the tips of them and twist them together. That is the blues and the reds. And we'll, what we're gonna do is connect the black to the blue up there in the, in the, in the junction box and the white to the red and uh, no big business. We are, we're gonna remove, basically bypass the ballast. The ballast will just sit there, not do anything. And I also removed the two, two insulating pieces of tubing that were on it, somewhere here, like that thing. And I'm gonna put them back, uh, probably shorten them and put it back. Okay, here we go. I've stripped the two ends and uh, connected blue to blue. I've just twisted those wires together. I think the red tip is a bit too long, but I'm gonna fix that later. I'm gonna trim it. So these will connect to the uh, leads of the connector that goes to the LED retrofit kit. So here we are, here's what we see when we uh, disentangle the wires from the junction box. So there are, you can see these these two that I'm touching, the uh, the yellow wire nuts, so black and white, right? And this, uh, so the the two of the whites are just the continuing uh, uh, main line going through the uh, through the ceiling here, and uh, the black is a similarly two of them are just uh, um, you know the, the 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 main line coming through. Uh, so this is neutral. This is light. This is neutral. Um, uh, white is white is neutral, and the um, let's see here. So the third wire is the one that goes into the ballast, and uh, so in this case it's pretty obvious this guy is the third wire up here. So what we're going to do is disconnect that third wire in both cases, and uh, connect the. Uh, yeah, so there are. Let's see here if we can see that. There are. Um, so we're going to disconnect that, that just, just disconnects the ballast. And from the ballast, there are uh, four wires, two red and uh, uh, 
uh, two red and two blue. Both of those goes, uh, go into the can. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, the disconnect those wires from the ballast and twist the reds together, twist the blues together and connect them to the um, uh, white and black leads respectively instead of the ones that are connected there. So you basically bypass the ballast. The ballast is still sitting there, we don't worry about it. And we just connect the main wire, we splice it into the main line over there. So the way you can do it, uh, determine, so of these, the, the, the red and blue wires, so you can see these, uh, these little connectors here. You snip them off such that the wire, the plastic cap remains on the ballast side, which is which is not what we're not going to use, and the bare side. So you can, in this case, it's pretty clear that the the red wire that goes into the can is the one on the left, and the red wire that goes into the ballast is the one on the right. You can pull at it and see which one goes where. In this case, for example, this one goes into the can, that one goes into the ballast. So what you do is you snip it over here so that you get a bare, bare end for the wire that's going into the can, similar to the other red and two other blues. And once you can disconnect that, you connect the red, connect the blues, put wire nuts on them, and that's pretty much it. Okay, here is, uh, I've uh, cut all the wires that need to be cut, and I'm trying to show you what's going on there. So you see the, the snipped ends, there are two reds and two blues, without wire nuts. So those are the wires that go into the can. And off to the side, I've tucked them away as best I can. There are the corresponding ones that go to the ballast. We don't care about them. But we leave the plastic tips on just for, it really doesn't matter, but you know, can just, just so that bare wires don't stick out as well. And uh, I've also removed the black and white leads that go into the ballast so that no longer has power. Instead, we're gonna take Let's see if I can get my hand in there and also show you. So these two reds, I'm going to strip the ends, join the two together, connect it to the white uh, line. And then I'm going to connect, uh, similarly strip the ends of the two blue ones, connect it to the black line, which is over here, there, that guy, and put wire nuts on it. Let's see if I can get that done. The blue one will be somewhat difficult because I'm in an awkward position. I have to reach the stripper and the wire stripper into the cavity and use the force. Okay, I've connected the, the two blues and the two reds and uh, without, without, um, um, it wasn't entirely without difficulty, um, but, uh, and you can't really do this without a wire stripper. You have to have a, a wire stripper. Um, yeah, can't use your teeth. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to connect uh, the, red, uh, the two reds to the white and the two blues to the, to the black and put wire nuts on them. Okay, here we are as promised. The black to the blues and the white to the reds with wire nuts. Now we need to tuck those uh, wires into the panel, uh, into the little box there, the junction box, and put the cover back on, put the lid back on, and uh, then do this uh, splice in the, um, the LED uh, fixture connector. So there is the junction box with all my, the, the evidence of my surgery neatly hidden away. Um, and now I have to do the the splice of the connector, which is actually relatively easy, I think. So here's the next little bit of surgery I have to do. So they have this, uh, they, give, they give you this adapter, which is meant to connect to a conventional, I think they call it an A9 socket, but I don't have an A9 socket, so what I'm gonna do is cut this off here. And uh, connect those two leads to those guys over there. A few short minutes later, we have the connectors in place. I'm impression, doing an impression of James May as best as, best I can. Anyway, there are the connectors and uh, now we can hook up our fixture and see if it works. 
And indeed, the kitchen is flooded with a warm and wondrous light. So now installing the can back in the ceiling. So the only trick here is that, no, not much of a trick really. Uh, the, there are three screws. Two of them are uh, closer than the third one. So that's how you can kind of align these. If you see that I've, I've pushed it in and then I rotated it to align the screw hole here. And then if you align the screw hole, you can then put in the screws one by one and just hand tighten them for starters and then hand tighten them thus and then you, you do three of those then while pushing this in tighten them all properly so the led retrofit kit looks something like this it comes in a in a box there and it has uh, these uh, springy uh, uh, clips, which for this particular installation, I will remove by just removing the screws. So, so here we go, I'll just remove this thing. So you line it, line up the the tab with the slot, and then just press this thing. Once again, hard to do with one hand, but if you press and tip over like this, it just comes out. We'll do. And there you have it. This thing has come out. So now this, uh, now you can see the tabs I was talking about clearly. This is the tab, and. Uh, so yeah, it just tilts and comes out. And the idea is that you put this on the, um, so let's bring the, so now you can see how this will work. Here's my LED retrofit kit without the spring clips. And then I can just put this on here. And the idea is that with, you can just attach this other side with double-sided tape and which I, don't have yet uh, right now I've run out but uh, um, I will make a video of showing how that how that's done um, but yeah you just put down double sided tape on this and just stick it to that uh, other one and it works great so here's the final piece of the puzzle um, I'm going to uh, put a double sided tape mounting tape on the on the LED retrofit kit remember without the without the Spring clips, that's it, the spring clips have been removed, and now I can just put this in there. I'm trying to do this one handed. And you set that down there, and uh, and we just push it down, and we're all set. And there's the finished product there. So, um, so I did those two, which are nearest to us, if you can see here, and I did that that one over there, right over there, the rest and some other day.